Hello everyone, hope everybody's doing good today. So, one of the members had asked us about the B38 ECU. They weren't aware that there's an actual tool out there that's able to read the ECU with the B38 ECU. These are typically used on i8s, 1 series, 3 series, the newer models, and Mini Coopers as well, the F series my body. And we're gonna be using the Flex uh, today to be able to read the ECU in order to uh, clone it as onto a used or a brand new module without the need to open up the case. As a matter of fact, Flex is able to do this on a lot of the BMW ECUs without the need to open the case. So for example, you have the N20 ECU. A lot of times you need to drill a hole and make sure no shavings go in. I think some of the people can relate to those times. So some programmers require you to drill a hole and what's funny is, back in the days, that's like two, three years ago, the programmers were new and you had to drill a hole. We would put a vacuum suction tool here while drilling a hole upside down to make sure that all the shavings are sucked out because if the shavings go in and you try to power up the ECU, that could fry the ECU. So now, the Flex is able to actually read the N20, N55, MSD85, B38, among other BMW ECUs without the need to open up the cases or to drill a hole through. So today we're gonna to show you how easy it is to read the B38 ECU without the need to drill a hole or open up the casing. So we go into the Flex, and that's what's great about the Flex. It's, it gives you the ability to do the job with very less risk. Investing in, in tools that are very well equipped with functionalities and low risk helps you in the long run, if you will. So as you can see here, we opened up the Flex uh, menu. Um, you can search this by entering MEVE 17.2.3. And as you can see, these are all the different vehicles that actually uses these ECU. And if, if we go there, you can see it right there. Uh, you might ask how I found that number. Again, uh, there's some part numbers on the sticker of the ECU that you can search online and come up with these uh, ECU types. Uh, B38 is another label of this ECU. So we select the ECU model. Here you can see that we can read this ECU three different ways. We can read it through OBD, and in that case, you're gonna need to use the green, as it says here, Flex 2.11 green cable, because you have two cables here. You have the 2.10 red, 2.11 green. So in this case, we use the green one. Um, and what's important is using a very good battery charger. That's very critical. Uh, and then you have the boot mode, which is, as we said, if you would have to open up the case, however, you're able to do the same functionality through bench. So we select bench, connector manual, um, seven pins. We have most of them connected here, except one, which is the ground. So you hover to that point there, and it shows port A5. So the pin there is fairly large, so I'm gonna use uh, B for that and right there pin it out and that goes to port A port number 5 so A5 and as explained in other videos port A1 to 4 are power A5 6 is ground so once we have that into place, we hit next, click connect, and then let Flex do its magic. So the ECU is consuming close to 250 milliamp, 200 milliamp. And here it shows you right there. And then it connected through the ECU 
And now we're able to do a full read of the internal flash, internal EEPROM, or full backup, and also write. Now one, one might ask what this magic lock is. So Flex has a special feature where if you were to tune this ECU and you wanna make sure no one is able to clone and read that tune, you would magic lock it. And when you do that, whoever comes back and reads the, the ECU is locked. So it's locked for you. And so then you're able to save your work just for yourself and uh, not have others be able to, to grab it. So one of the things I'm gonna show you here, we're gonna get a little technical here, is when it was connecting through, it detected the processor that actually has all the mapping and security information. It's the TC1793, these are the tri-core processors. And as you come down, it shows you that it connected into the internal flash, and it connected into the EEPROM. Now, as you can see further down, it says checking password, and flash unprotected so the password okay so it connected but if they were to magic lock this is where they would have the challenge of connecting to the you know processor and able to read it so it secures your work if you will and so once you have that we can uh, read the full backup of the ecu and it shouldn't take long now we always suggest when you buy these tools from us to you know go to your local car yard or search on eBay, find some um, used modules to be able to practice on and boost your confidence with. That way, you know, you have a reference uh, ECU in hand so that whenever you get customers ECUs or uh, from shops, you know, you have some reference ECUs to work with and then practice on. So here we have the file ready, so always save all to download that. And we're uh, good to go right there. And then within that compressed file, um, you would have a notepad that actually you know, gives you all the information about the different uh, processors and EEPROMs you're connected to and check some information. And in the dump, you have the full backup. That's a Magic Motor Sport file. And then you have your internal EEPROM flash and the password for the tricorder. And uh, yeah, either you can, you know, if you have a tuner that you work with, or if you, if you tune yourself, you can actually load the flash and, and tune the file and then write it back in. Or if your job is just to, you know, uh, replace the ECU because it's uh, misfiring the engine, you would uh, rewrite the whole backup into a used ECU, and then you're good to go from there. So. Hopefully this video helped to show that this tool is able to read this ECU without the need to open up the case. As a matter of fact, you're able to read this ECU by OBD as well. So if it's connected to the car, you can connect through the OBD, read it, tune it, rewrite it through the OBD, not even see the ECU itself. So uh, that's another way of performing this job. And there you have it. Yeah, so if there's any other inquiries, questions about these type of jobs, you know, send us an email, comment on the videos, share the videos around. I'm sure a lot of people want to know how these things uh, operate, how these tools function. If you're interested in the tool, uh, visit www.vpro.ca. Uh, send us an email, info at vpro.ca. You can find us on uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook. And as mentioned uh, in other videos, we are working on setting up a class for these uh, type of work so that you have hands-on experience as well. So stay tuned, subscribe on the website so that you can get notification and email whenever we have these uh, classes coming up. And uh, as always, hopefully you learned something uh, here and uh, until next time.